This past weekend, the World Ultimate Strongman put their second show of the year on. So good to see the, the women get the opportunity to compete alongside the men. Really amazing event. Now, in the past, the World Ultimate Strongman have put on, I believe, four events. Yes. As long as, as well as the, the kind of feats of strength. And we've always given feedback Three. to the to the promoters try and give like honest feedback of where things can improve we look online liz is online all the time reading the comment sections <laughs> and i've got to say this is probably well it's not probably this is without question the best show they have ever put on i was quite critical of the bahrain show I, everyone was quite critical of the bahrain show and they reached out they said on social media we want your feedback we genuinely want to improve and they listened and they delivered absolutely in, in every section as well yeah. I, i've got to say mark boyd's team on the on the ground yeah. just worked br like a, a seamless machine yeah. everything was in place things were reset quickly i mean they, <laughs> to the detriment of the athletes yeah. they had no break at all but for for us watching and actually for, for me doing the commentating it was great because there was no sort of long dead space mm. it was much much quicker the, the action just came fast and, yeah, and, and furiously fast. yeah uh so i've got to say what a competition the the guys keep getting better um the team sorry i should say uh at worse they keep getting better they do keep listening and even after this show they're asking for feedback they're, they're like where can we improve so it's really good to see that they, yeah. they want to keep making these shows better i hope you guys that watched it enjoyed the stream i love doing the commentary for it and maybe we should start with the women yes definitely before we go into the women let's have a quick reminder of the events that they had to do so it was a 100 kilo log for reps they had a 300 kilo yoke for max distance. I don't think anyone enjoyed that event. That was that was the event that really left people battered as well, I think. Because yeah. it was such a Especially fast pace show. Oh, the men were struggling. <laughs> the men were a mess. The women <laughs> coped a bit better than the men, I felt. But then they went into a 110 kilo in each hand farmer's walk. Then there was the mystery event. What was it called? The chain carriage track. Push pull. Push pull carriage <laughs> so, I, I actually thought it was a, a very cool looking event yeah feedback from the athletes i think it could have been a little bit heavier particularly mm -hmm. for the men perhaps yeah um and I, I mean i say that two of the guys didn't finish but that was cramping yeah one of the guys got cramped the other one had a hernia yeah so, that was you horrible. know that was just unfortunate but i was speaking to a number of the guys and they were just like it was a cool event and the concept of it that it actually got heavier Yes, so it started off quite chain. light and it got heavier. It was cool, but I think it, it could have been maybe a fraction heavier. That's the the only real criticism I have of the whole show, which is it shows how good I mean, it, and well run it was. And then finally, the women did the ten stone atlas stone run with the weights going from sixty kilos on the lightest stone to one hundred and fifty kilos for the heaviest. So we had some amazing performances by all the the women. Really, they really put strong women on the map with this performance and and this this show i've yeah. seen loads of comments from people saying how much they enjoyed watching the the female side of the sport which is is great to see yeah uh, they started off with the log lift and andrea thompson dominating that event she is the current log lift world record holder and yeah. she kind of you know showed why she has that record we expected andrew to do well so for those of you that don't know andrea thompson tore her calf in the gym the week before the competition in dubai obviously hugely disappointing for her but she powered through she she did amazing all things considered everything that was thrown at her that week i know you can't be biased because you coach her so um we had to give her a few mental talking to's you had to give her to, some tough love I, I did just to try and help her block it out and, and get through it but she put in an incredible performance i thought she she's she's disappointed and i understand that because really the events like the yoke and the farmers she's much better at, and she was trying to hold back to protect it which yeah. i've been in that position before it's never fun but she got through the show really proud of her and i think she should be proud of herself number of other incredible performances oh, though gotcha. i think we have to talk about Annabelle. Of course, Annabelle. And we didn't even put her on our top three when we well, were doing Well, she will be going on future top threes, yes, that's for sure. Do you know why, though? In my mind, this is my excuse. Okay. She came fifth at UK Strongest Man. Just a, a UK... <laughs> 
she came fifth at UK Strongest Woman <laughs> a few weeks ago. So in my mind, fifth in the UK doesn't translate to first in a international competition. So very pleasantly surprised well, to see Anna. Two things so that well. shows. Firstly, it shows the standard in the UK right yes. now. Uh, I, I do, I have to say, that the, the level of strength in the female class in the UK is ridiculous. And I'm not just talking about the heavyweights. When you no. go down in the various different Rhiannon weight classes, like that. there's so many awesome athletes yeah. that are performing at this high level. And there's a couple of others that, you know, could have been out there as well. Yeah. So it just, the, the, the ladies should be extremely proud of themselves and, and how well they're performing. <laughs> Annabelle has actually improved since the UK's as well. Oh, yeah. She's getting better. She's growing with confidence. Different set of events. And, yeah. you know, I can bore people to hell with that all the time, <laughs> but it does matter. And she put in one... It was, it was a faultless performance by her. Yeah. Really, really impressive. Do you know what's really amazing is two days after, so she flew home the next morning, and then the day after, she went and won Britain's Strongest Woman. She must have been feeling it. Just the travel alone would have taken it out of you. Yeah. So to go win that, what was a, a brutally heavy competition, fast-paced, and then to fly back straight away. I think she flew at like four in the morning or something ridiculous like that. Rather her than me. <laughs> And then to compete in Britain's Strongest Woman the following day, congratulations, Annabelle, you deserve that win. So let's talk about Melissa Peacock, someone we also didn't have in our top three. My excuse I here, had her in my top oh, three. Damn it, did you? <laughs> I did, did you? Okay. I didn't know I didn't know enough about most of these ladies. Um, but I'm gonna make sure I learn for future <laughs> future predictions because I hate to lose. But Melissa was incredible. She only really dropped points on the farmers and she said that grip's a bit of an issue for her and something she needs to work on. But her performance on the mystery event particularly was um, extremely impressive. Honestly, her performance on everything was impressive. I yeah. mean, she was only one point off second place and three points off first. Yeah. So it really shows how impressive her performance on the other events were considering she was almost bottom of the pile on the farmers. So Melissa is, is, is a superstar. She got powerful legs, moves fast. You, you arm wrestled her as well. I arm wrestled her. She's strong. <laughs> <laughs> that girl is strong. And not only did I arm wrestle her, I was, um, we had like a, a chicken war, was it? In the, the Oh pool. God, yeah. It was me and Bobby Thompson. Yeah. Against um, Isaac, her partner, and yeah. um, Melissa. And, and she gave us a run for her money. Yeah. <laughs> I took on Corey. That was a mistake. <laughs> that was funny. In hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> what was I thinking? And Corey also put in a, a fantastic performance as well. I mean, all, all the ladies did, honestly. Corey's such a sweetheart as well, and I know that shouldn't come into my mind, but it does. I talk about the men being you great, do. but the women were great too. It was a yeah. great group of, of, of people to be around yeah. all weekend. Their attitudes, like, throughout, they were just... You know, they were called quickly and they were just there. They didn't complain about anything. There was only a little bit of vomiting. It was really good. I thought they <laughs> From coped. the men as well. Compared to the men, the men were a hot mess. Was, were the women we're vomiting as well? Only one. And okay, I'm not going to. name names. No, no. <laughs> the men were all over the place. Although there are photos of it online already, so I'm not sure I need to protect her, but um, I will anyway. <laughs> I mean, Donna Moore finishing second. Donna yes. proving once again she's one of the most dominant female athletes of all time. Mm. Three-time world champion. Uh, she, she she doesn't put a foot wrong. Donna she's, finds a way. She's Donna's very professional. Just, yeah. And, you know, we haven't really talked about it too much because you just expect her to do well. Yeah, she's just one of those athletes that always performs. She's so consistent in everything yeah. that she does. Even when she's not the best, she's still up there. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to seeing more of the female class yeah definitely you know, and I know there's a whole host of women out there that want to compete in these shows mm. what's do for the men's side have like a qualifying system I'm sure that's going to open up to, yeah. the, to the women's side of things but I was extremely impressed uh, I actually really enjoyed commentating on it I know you enjoyed being behind the scenes and watching them. I did. Do you know what, though? This was a really hard competition to be behind the scenes at and do my usual because it was so fast in between events. I was running out and people were just dying. Like, they couldn't talk to me because they couldn't breathe. <laughs> so I was like, oh, you know when you know not to bother people, so you just um, yeah. step back and film the competition instead. I think you've got, you've got a funny clip of Janasha, haven't you? <laughs> Janasha? <laughs> he was, like, dying throughout. And then at the very end, I come out back and he's like, I'm alive! <laughs> well, let's, let's move on to the men because... Okay. 
the, the men's contest was highly anticipated with the return of Kiliushkovsky, mm. one of the greatest strongmen of modern times. Yes. He's won so many contests. He was nervous, wasn't he? Oh, oh. That... Two years, nearly two years out of action. Yeah, he was He was so literally nervous. shaking before the first event. People, like, <laughs> Mateusz, he has a really intense face, but that's just his face. <laughs> and I think his nerves almost make him look aggressive or angry but he's really to people not that don't he's, know him yes yeah. no he's a he's such a gentle soul and you just want to hug him don't you because oh bless him bless him he did so well though so well and he really beat himself up afterwards well it was a, i mean quickly run through the events for the men yes, same events as the women but the, the the weight's heavier obviously so we had the 180 kilo log for reps yeah we had uh 450 kilo yoke for distance which mm. messed these guys up big mm -hmm. time uh 180 kilo each hand farmers walk and these were fat thick handles yeah. with no knurling they were like co powder coated so the grip they were really struggling with Poor Rauner. <laughs> <laughs> um then we had the the anchor oh, sorry the um chain railway carriage, chain. railway drag <laughs> push pull <laughs> <laughs> and the finally the stones 100 all the way up to 200 kilos this time the 10 stone run um and the pace really really took it out of the athletes it did um and you know uh, there's a lot to be said for alexi and matasha's athleticism because i didn't see those two struggling too much but mm -hmm out back we had we had oxygen cramping vomiting it was a hot mess it really was bless them and maybe that's that that's the future of strongman though and something you know if we want live shows on live tv going forward maybe that's something that they have to sort of work towards in their condition it's, it's something i've seen not with just the the wuss contests i mean let's just show you the how much wuss have improved because the yeah. the first show i did for them when i actually competed in the show 2018 we were competing for 10 11 hours right there <laughs> yeah now we've had a show with two contests mm. run in less than six hours which is so much more entertaining for us watching mm. as fans it keeps people's interest if we're going to do live events it kind of needs to be that way you can do two day shows so you maybe yeah. do four events one day four events another if you were really going to put in those harder brutal contests yeah. to really test the best but i think the athletes are going to have to focus on conditioning it's not just about one rep and being powerful you look at the, the, the top guys in the world right now although he's massive tom stoltman he's an athlete mm. you know luke stoltman a very good athletic background mm. um alexi alexi just unbelievable mm. uh Liss is coming back he's a great all-round athlete kiliushkovsky is a good athlete it's not just the big static monsters no. they are extremely strong yeah but they're complete athletes and i think that's the way you need to train now you need yeah. to be conditioned because it's all fine doing things at your own pace but when you've got to go out there and do it do it do it again and again that fitness is important and it's good to see it's just important to remember that strongman is more than just one event yeah strongman isn't powerlifting either it's never like, there was an era where it was a little bit more statically based i guess but it's always about being an all-round strength athlete it, yeah. what do you call it the decathlon of strength yeah, athletics. It's kind of, you have to be good at everything you have to be able to move away it's a big part of it the people winning shows at the moment aren't yeah. the ones chasing the records no they're, they're the guys focusing on being as, as good as possible all round. Yeah. Who impressed you out of the men? <sighs> Rauno Heinler. <laughs> Rauno did terrible in this show. No, these were not good events for him. They were no terrible. No deadlift. Events. Yeah. And there was a very heavy farmers. Don't <laughs> don't even start. Obviously, Alexi. Um, you know, to the end, he he's a fighter and a good job as well because having just been defeated in three events to Mateusz, it would have been easy to, do you know what I mean, go in and feeling a little bit downtrodden maybe into the Atlas Stones, but he pushed to the absolute end. He was consistent throughout and obviously it paid off. Mateusz, we've talked about him already. He won three events. Obviously, it was on the final stone that he lost it. His nerves got to him a bit on the um, on the log lift, sorry, also with that first rep. I think he should have had four reps. I actually, and the last one as well, he just didn't quite lock it out in time. Could have had five. Yeah, I actually think <laughs> this return show is, is good for him. It's kind of, yeah. hopefully, it'll have settled the nerves. Hopefully. Shown him he's still hungry. Yeah. And 
when you talk to him, he really is. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, it's everything to him. Yeah, it is. That's why sometimes he comes across, I think, in, in a negative way to people that don't know him. I don't think he comes across badly. He's an extremely popular strong man. But I did see a couple of comments about um, looking like a sore loser. And bless him, his little face on that podium didn't look great. <laughs> but it's not, he's not not happy for Alexei. He's it's, great. It's the, the standard he holds himself to. Yeah, is, it, it's he, almost he, impossibly high. It, it really is. And he really is down on himself. It's not any about anyone else. It's just I, I see him do incredible thinks, performances, and backstage he's like, "No, it was no good." Yeah, and he's, yeah. He, when you hold yourself that high, it, yeah. it is tough sometimes. I think he just needs to take a little pressure off himself. Yeah, because the guy's incredible. I think this was the, what he needed to get back into competition yeah. and now build from this. He's going to go on. You know, he's got the Rogue Invitational coming up, which yes. is going to be an amazing event. There's going to be more big opportunities, and then leading up to Worlds next year. Yeah, wow, oh, it's going to be. That's exciting. Especially I'm already kind of getting goosebumps thinking about especially it. Especially with Liz is coming back as well. Like, it could cause... That's a, another video. Such a huge there's there's going to be Ooh, so much talent next wait. year. Ivers. Let's talk about our man Ivers. Ivers is... Actually, every time he competes in the wuss comps, he does amazing. Yeah. And he just... <laughs> Again, consistent, solid, and his conditioning is pretty good. Yeah. You know, he he's one that manages to yeah. cope a little better than some of the guys, although he was asking for oxygen at one stage, you said. Yeah, yeah he was. He was like shouting, where's my oxygen? <laughs> he's got such a great voice. <laughs> you always know when it's Ivers. His log lift particularly impressed me. Three reps. I know. Where he fell the 170 from? axle a few months back at the Royal Albert Hall. He goes and smashes three reps on You a say yourself, though, it's very different. It but is. Yeah, that was still a surprise, though. I was... Uh, it was a surprise to him. He's looking around. He's like... I can't. What the fuck? And the thing is, his three reps look good. I was yeah. like, you could have tried a fourth. He's like, yeah. no, no, no. No, no, no. He'd have been a box. he no. performed brilliantly. He really did. Deserved his third place. I mean... Snuck in, because Bobby Thompson was on the podium going into the Stones. Unfortunately, the Stones just aren't a great event for Bobby, which Bob, is... Bobby's also had a bicep issue recently. Okay. So yes, of course he has. And do you know what? I'd completely forgotten, because he performed he's so, so well. He's so mentally he tough. He doesn't Never complain about anything. He doesn't. He's a tough mm. guy. Very, very strong. Uh, it's the one event, though, that's probably holding back from, from getting on podiums and stuff. I think... He's Bobby's a smart guy. He's going to go away and work yeah. on it for next year. Unfortunately, you just can't afford not to be great at Atlas Stones because they are in every bloody competition. <laughs> they really are. Yes. And JF Karan as well. I mean, JF was fourth. I think I, I had him coming in third in the predictions. He had but a lot of travel disruption, didn't he? He got he, there extremely late. So He, he had a lot of issues with mm. his travel, ended up coming in real late. Um and he's been busy as well. He's got a lot of competitions coming up. He did the Shaw Classic yeah. not so long ago. Um, but yeah, he's, I think it took him 36 hours, he said, to get over. Yeah, yeah, because one thing was delayed, then he missed his connection. It was just an absolute nightmare for so, him. So, all things considering, not bad at all by no. JF. And Constantine. Constantine Janasha, another great character. He was actually doing amazingly well until the mystery event. He just cramped. Abs cramped up real badly. Mm. And he was flying, actually. He was going through yeah. it real well. But just when that cramp kicks in, it's horrible. Yeah. So... He, he's, you know, he's definitely one to keep an eye on for some big performances as the year goes on. Just for these fast-paced shows, just needs that little bit more, mm -hmm. I guess, conditioning, making sure he's staying focused on his hydration. Yeah. Uh, but he, he made me laugh when he was, he was in the background. He's like, I'm alive. <laughs> Waving a towel. <laughs> he is funny. But it was, it was an amazing week. I mean, it really it was, was amazing. Ten, ten days? Was Twelve it? days. Twelve days. We wow. It flew by. It was, it, honestly, it was just so nice though, wasn't it? Like, it just spending time with people and a bit of a different mix of athletes as well. well I think what was weird was there were no British athletes there. Yeah, that was strange. Um, there's been talk about that online. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think this is, this is an issue when there's competitions clash. Yeah. And, and people have kind of been saying, oh, why aren't the Stoltmans at the worst show? If, if you're the Stoltmans, you're going to compete in Glasgow. Yeah, it's of their home country. The first time there's ever been a big yeah. event. I'm hoping moving forward, organisers will talk to each other, yeah, and plan out scheduling together. a little better. Um, that's the hope. We, you know, fingers crossed that happens. But I, I think the the Stoltmans will be back for World Ultimate Strongman events in the future. I hope so because to see those two 
athletes against the likes of Kiliushkovsky against it's Novikov. We all, want to see. we all want to see it. It's exciting times in the sport. We had an amazing weekend. The team at WUS did an incredible job. I, I've got to say, absolutely incredible. Um, from the commentating side of things, the we had Production. like a we, we had a screen to watch which was, had a camera on us, so yeah. you're kind of looking straight into it. Uh, information was much quicker being relayed to us. I still think we need to get a better system to get the results back to the commentators quickly so mm -hmm. I can kind of give the feedback to the people watching. Mm. Uh, but other than that, I thought it was brilliant. Really, really amazing week, amazing show, and an amazing performance from all of the athletes. While you're here, guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content.